Angry crowds have gathered outside the governor's mansion in the U.S. state of Minnesota to voice their fury at the killing by a police officer of a black man during a traffic stop. Well, these are pictures uh, from the scene. About 200 people gathered at the place of the killing and then moved to the governor's residence. They're demanding uh, justice from the authorities. In this video, you can see uh, one of the protesters speaking to the crowd. Behind her are the gates of the governor's mansion, uh, which uh, demonstrators have covered with crime scene tape. Earlier, reports of the governor being evacuated from the residency were denied by the police, who claimed he was still inside. Well, 32-year-old Philando Castile was stopped over a broken tail light and then shot, reportedly, after he moved to show his driving license. His girlfriend was also in the car with him and filmed the incident. We warn you, you may find the video we're about to show disturbing. Stay with me. We got pulled over for a bus. Another killing of an African-American man by police officers, this time in the U.S. state of Louisiana. There was also a public outcry over that incident after a video of it was posted online. It's been reported that the man was threatening the police officers with a gun. However, that's not clear from the footage, though it does look like he was shot whilst pinned to the ground by two officers. We have to warn you again that the video we are about to show is distressing. Well, the victim, Alton Sterling, was selling CDs at the parking lot where he was killed. He was a father of five. His eldest son was clearly distraught during a media conference on the deadly incident. He is 15 years old. <laughs> <laughs> he had to watch this as this was put all over the outlet and everything that was possible to be shown. Both victims have now been added to the list of people killed in the U.S. Uh, by the U.S. police in 2016, which already has over 500 names on it. U.S. State Representatives uh, Mandela Barn says officials largely turned a blind eye to police violence evidence here is just so disturbing. I don't see how uh, these officers won't be charged. A lot of these officers feel that they can do whatever they want to do. Enforcing the law and being above the law are two different things. And these extrajudicial killings, they're being accepted. Other members of police departments aren't saying anything about it. They aren't turning in their friends. They have a, a very strict no snitching culture that exists. They have to change or else, you know, it, it won't stop at a demonstration because the police officers still haven't gotten the message. For more news just after this short break, do stay tuned. You're watching RT International.